Hi, this is Jessica with cutesycrafts.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Bohin automatic needle threader. It's a bit complicated, but I read through the instructions and figured out step by step how to use it. Got my size 3 needle. So I think that we need to use the bigger side. Step one is to set the thread in the needle in the thread feeder. So these are the thread cutters, the two slits nearest the button here. Oh wait, no, there's only one thread cutter. Do we? Let's try that out. Oh, that worked really well actually. So thread cutter, check. You slide the thread, it looks like in between the little tower here and then the side. But make sure the thread on the front side short. So I guess if this is the front side facing me, so the short side will go in there. So it kind of does click in right there. Set a needle in the needle holder. All right, so there's a direction. You can't put it in like with the thicker part going that way. You have to put it in it only lets you put it one way, so that's good. Push the button. Be careful not to move the device and push the button until you hear a snap sound. All right, I'm scared, guys. Let's see what happens. Ow! Okay, well, first of all, make sure that your finger, your other finger's not like touching the side over here because something will come out and poke you. Did that even do anything? So the thread's supposed to then come out this side in a loop. There's nothing there. And okay, let's try again. Okay, so I did get a little bit of a loop over here, but I can tell that we do not have all six threads in there. Okay, well, we didn't get all of our thread through. But I'm, let's see if we got, no, now my needle's stuck. <laughs> well, I don't know what is going on if it's just truly not working because I have too many strands of floss there. But I'm gonna call our size three needle with a full strand a fill. Now let's try our size eight needle. Okay, pulled that through. And actually the loop came out quite nicely on there. Pull that through, pull that up. Hey, look at that. We have successfully threaded a needle. And just to make sure it wasn't a fluke, let's try it one more time. So we're on the bigger side with my size eight needle. Drop that in and watch out for fingers and push the button. Yep, my loop came out on this side. Pull that through and pull the needle out. Okay, so, all right, feeling a little bit more hopeful about this needle threader. One final test for it. I've got my size 10 needle and one strand of floss. And I'm definitely gonna do that on the smaller side. If the size 10 needle is not a small needle, I don't know what is. So let's drop that in there. Watch out for your fingers, push the button, and oh, look. Look at, see the little loop? I'm so excited. And it just comes out. Pull the needle out, and it's threaded. Okay, so. That gives us two out of three needles threaded successfully with our Bohin needle threader. I just think this thing is so cool and can help a lot of people that are struggling threading needles. And um, I wanted to show you a little trick. Since this can't successfully thread six strands of floss, you can actually just thread your big needle with three strands. So I've got three strands on here and you wanna make your your cut of thread a little bit longer than you normally would. And then you can double up on it. Um, so bring it back in on itself and I've got, so this is three strands on this side, three strands on that side, and I'm making the ends equal. And then you just tie a knot at that end and that reduces the bulk and makes it so you only have to thread three strands of floss on your needle. But once you start stitching, Ta-da, you have six strands of floss. Does that make sense? So 
if you came across a pattern and you really needed to use six strands of floss, you could use this and just thread three strands on here and use this method. Hopefully this was a helpful tutorial showing you how to use the Bohin needle threader. Head over to the description below and you will find a link of where you can purchase this and also a link to another video where I review several other needle threaders to show you which ones I like best.